Hey you guys, it is Sharika, aka Share. How are you doing today? So today I am going to be doing my budget for April. Yes, April. I don't know about y'all, but April got here real fast and um, I can't believe it's April already. March just kind of flew by really quick. But of course, just as every other month that we do, we are going to go ahead and plan for all of the money that will be coming in to my household for the month of April. And so if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know, I like to do, I like to do a little bit of a pre-planning in my Excel spreadsheet. And then I use the software, you need a budget to budget my actual money out when it actually comes in and I actually get paid. And so if you like this type of content to see people budgeting, to see how they budget, to see how they manage, you know, fluctuating expenses that change here and there, um, and even to see, you know, just my financial freedom journey. Um, I am trying to pay off debt at some point, but right now I'm going to be saving to move back into my home. So I need furniture and all that other stuff. But yeah, if you're interested in that type of content, do not forget to down below to like and subscribe so that you can join me on this journey. All right, you guys, so let's get into it. This should honestly be real quick and easy today because I don't got a lot going on. So let's just hide that right there. Um, this is my March budget and all I do is I take, I use a Microsoft Excel. We are going to create a copy right before this wish list. All right, so April 2021 is what we're going to be working with. And so I will look at my calendar and we will pop our paydays, well, my paydays at least, in here. So 4, 5, and 3, 19. Wait, what? No, 4, 19. Duh. Okay, those are my two paydays that I have in April. Next, I'm going to make sure that my paychecks are correct. Um, so the last paycheck I got was 1771.63, and that's gonna be the same amount. Um, that should be the correct amount for the near future. So let's just make sure I, both of those paychecks are the same because that is the plan. So that's gonna be a total of 3543.26. So there is going to be that's my monthly income and that's going to be from my full-time job after taxes after um contributions to charities after contributions to my tsp slash 401k all of that jazz this is what i take home and this is also after um, i get 900 dollars each check take it out to go to a separate account for my housing expenses. I just like that stuff to just flow in and out by itself. And so I take that out um, and I this is the money that I actually use to manage everything else. All right. So 35, 43, 26. And then we're just going to start from the top. So of course, charitable giving that stays the same, 195 each check. Then I have One Child Matters. I'll keep that the same as 39. The cell phone is $100. And that's for two cell phone plans and a little bit of extra for interest fees and all that other stuff that I give to my mom. We have a family plan. It is about seven of us on there and so it, it turns out to be cheaper that way and we're all good my sisters are on there my nieces my nephew my daughter my parents you know the whole family so it just worked out better that way um next is rent and we're going to take that out because if you saw my last video since i am moving back home soon my parents said i did not have to pay rent anymore um, and that money can just, you know, go towards me saving for furniture and all that other jazz. Let's just delete that line. All right. So car and condo insurance will stay at 212. Life insurance will stay at 63. Um, YouTube music is actually, so I did the YouTube music and the YouTube premium and I believe it's, and I believe it's $12.99. I really need to figure that out. So let's just change that and that'll come out of the first paycheck. So then next is my Roth IRA. I put $50 a month in there currently. Um, then I have my Peloton that comes out of the second check. And then I have Hulu, which is actually went up because I guess they added taxes on it. So it was $6.35. And we'll make that change. So that I have every dollar a correct name. 
Um, and if you're wondering, these items over here in red are just things that automatically come out of my checking account. Those are on auto pay. So then next, we are going to deal with debt. So then Mariah Student Loans, I put $75 each check to my daughter's student loan. Then my student loan, um, although it is in forbearance, I still make a payment of four fifty three, which was the minimum payment a few, you know, right before the whole pandemic thing hit. So, and it is a federal student loan, so four fifty three, and debt is taken care of. Next is my variable expenses. So, enjoy life. I give myself seventy five dollars each check. Then um, gasoline, seventy five dollars each check. I'm trying to think, do I need to go anywhere major in April? I don't. Um, then groceries, uh, $125 each check. And I'm actually going to increase that a little bit because I've been getting hella fresh. Um, let's just go with $140 each check. So the total, that'll be $280 for the month. There we go. And then hair care and beauty, I'm $115. And I'm going to put a little bit of extra in here because my hairdresser is going on vacation. For I get my hair done every four weeks. She's going. She'll be on vacation that fourth week, which means I'm not getting my hair done till like the fifth or sixth week. I can't exactly remember, but by the fifth or sixth week, my hair looks crazy, and um, I'll have more new growth, and it'll take her a little bit longer. So I believe because it's a little bit well, I know because it's a little bit longer. Um, it's going to take her to actually do my hair, retighten my roots. Um, it's going to be cost a little bit more. So I'm just going to pop 140 in there to be safe. Then laundry, of course, $30 each paycheck. And then I like to keep a buffer of $25 each check in here. So down, that's now we're done with the variable expenses. Next, we're going to come down to like savings. And these are just kind of random things that I know are going to happen um, in the month. Um, so for gifts, I'm going to do $25 each check. So that'll just be a total of $50 for the month. Um, I do have one birthday in April and it's my dad's birthday and my dad never wants anything for his birthday. If anything, um, you know, we'll treat him. Me and my sisters will put money together and buy dinner here at the house or something to treat him with. And I already actually have $25 in my celebrations category in YNAB. So I'm not going to worry about putting more money in there. Vacation. Um... I do need spending money for my Mexico trip, but I believe I will have another paycheck before that. And I'll just use the first paycheck of May for my spending money for Mexico. And we'll take that out. Next is Christmas. Um, I have a sinking fund so that I can save for Christmas now and I don't have to worry about it later on. And I put in $91 a month for Christmas. So let me take a look at my calendar just to make sure ain't nothing else popping off. Yeah, no, it's going to be a real boring month. Actually, in Enjoy Life, I do have a dinner planned with a friend at Cooper's Hawk. Um, eh, I should be able, I should be fine because that's really all I'm doing with that money. Um, oh, and then I want to add clothing and accessories because I need a new wallet. My wallet is uh, ripped and I need a new wallet. And so I do have money to buy a wallet, but it's not like an immediate need because I ain't going nowhere, but um, I do want to end up buying a wallet at some point. So I'll just, and I need to just start saving. I'll just put $25 each paycheck in there. And at some point in April, I will get a new wallet. Um, I'm very picky. So uh, I've been looking online, trying to find something that I like, but I haven't found anything. So with all that said, my budget is done for April. Um, and as you see, I have $1,000 six dollars and 92 cents left for the month which will go towards my savings for me moving back into my house um so 320 64 from the first check and then 686 28 out of the second check yeah that looks pretty good and so i think i'm pretty good shape for april and Thank you guys for joining with me. I hope you come back so that you can see when I actually get these paychecks and actually budget it out. So you can see where that $1,006 goes to and see how I'm catching up on um, just saving for furniture and all the different things. Hopefully, I'm really hoping in the month of April, I can start pulling some of that stuff up um, and just start saving for some other things. But you know, um, I did get an estimate for carpet. And so I went to Home Depot to schedule an appointment 
for them to come and do measurements. And they gave me just a roundabout estimate and it was a little bit more than I thought it would be. And so um, I'm really just trying to ponder on like, what am I going to do about that? Uh, because, you know, I ultimately, I definitely need carpet upstairs. And so my first thought was, and you guys let me know what you think. Um, option one, just go ahead and put carpet upstairs, which is the stairs and the four bedrooms, um, which I'm pretty sure I have enough money for. And then just don't put anything downstairs except for, you know, my workout equipment and then just do the save up later and do the carpet in the basement later on in the year. Or option number two, just do it all upstairs and downstairs. Um, I can put what I have. I think I have about like twenty three or twenty four hundred dollars. I can put that down um, on the payment. And then the balance of that, I think the estimate was about forty one hundred dollars. And so the balance of that, I can get a Home Depot card and just finance it zero percent for I think it's like 18 months, which I can definitely pay that off um, in less a lot less time than the 18 months. But at least I will have carpet upstairs and downstairs and it'll kind of be a done deal. Um, and then I'll just pay the balance of that off. So you guys let me know what you think. Option one or option two, um, I still have not decided and I still have not gotten an official quote. Um, I have two people coming out um, in April. I, um, I have Home Depot and then I have another company um, to give me a quote for upstairs and downstairs. And so I'll ultimately make a decision then, but I'm interested to know what would you guys do? Would you finance the rest or just wait till to do it later? So you guys let me know. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you later. Bye-bye.